We did it! The infinity door is complete! Oh, look at it, it's so cool! Oh, I love all the slime songs, they're so cool. Boom, end of stream, you guys don't get to see- Hello everyone, my name is ASDF, and welcome back to Slime Rancher. Now, we're out of keys, which means we can't just do a willy-nilly expansion like we did yesterday, uh, because we happen to have the keys. So if we check the map, the next area to unlock would be this one up here and then also this one over here which takes a little bit more effort um, and I don't know if we need a key we probably do so we need to find some Gordos now we have the slime the the rock one here which we can pop pretty easy because he takes beetroots and then we found a rad slime in the quarry somewhere but I don't remember where he was I think he was probably over here. He was in a cave somewhere, and I don't know why he didn't mark. Probably because we didn't get close enough. But he was in a little cavern all by himself. And uh, we're going to have to find him again. And then we know there's a hunter rad slime up here. or Sorry, a hunter gordo up here on a giant mushroom, which is also somehow not marked on our thing. I don't know if... You know what it is? We fed this guy one thing. So, note to self, if you find a Gordo, always feed him one thing. So, maybe the cat's got enough money to buy their own PCs and they took the USB cables because they need them for their computers. So that makes sense. Cave in nearly the exact center of the Indigo Quarry. Uh, so, this, this one. Yeah, that makes sense, because he was like down across from this one. We had to go up. So that's where the Rad Slime is. So, we can take... Well, let's do our chores. Let's do our chores for the day. Now I think we need 25 of these. Because they take 50 food, but these are their favorites. So why don't we just do that now? We'll take 25 Oka Okas. Oh. Four, five. And we'll take 25 beetroots. We should have 25 beetroots, right? Yes. Boom slimes, what's up, Pink Ninja? Welcome. Uh 20, actually, we only need 24, but that's fine. We can we can use an extra one. And we're just going to go pop some slimes right now, because we need some keys. And then on the agenda today, what do you guys want to do? We could explore a little more, or we can focus getting the briar hens for the hunter slime. We still need to pick up more hunter and or honey slimes. So, yeah, or we can do some ranch. Farm it, we could do some farming. Ah, I forgot to bring the Q-berries for those guys again. Speed run to Glass Desert? Okay, we could speed run to Glass Desert. Maybe. Maybe. Sadly, you gotta focus on work. All right, that's not a bad thing to be focusing on. Thank you for the loot, King Ninja. We can be running. What are you running? My whole life is just memes now. There we go! Kaboom! Oh, look at all those tiny rock slimes that came out. Ooh! Finally, we got ourselves an ornament. An elder ornament. I'm gonna go put that in our chicken coop. Ow! Use me. That's a stony hen. We don't need that. And they like the carrots and everything. Okay, this goes back to the ranch, so that's kind of a useless one to get. But that's okay. We need to go up there, I think. Either up there or over there. All right, let's check. I, I think it's up here. So we need to, oh, hi there. Joy. I think this is the easiest way to get up there. If you want to speed run to the glass desert, it'll take two slime keys, okay. Yeah, then we'll prioritize uh, the Gordos. That way we can keep exploring after. Um, Oh, those guys are all hungry. Was he under here? He was like under something. 
He was like in a little secret cave. Is it this way? No, it wasn't this way. I think maybe it was the other way. Uh, no, wait, he's like underneath... He's under... something. I don't know. Well, we don't have two slime keys. Um, we'll find this guy. We've got all literally all night. I think he's probably through here. Is this the right one? Let's see. I remember we had to like go around him to get where we wanted to go. And he was like in a little hidden area or something like that. It was a place I hadn't gone before. Maybe it's more towards the edge. I think it's up here. Yeah, yeah, it's in this like secret cave off to the side over here. No, this is the crystal slimes. That's less than helpful. Easiest way to get rad is go to the bridge and fly left. Okay, we'll go to the bridge then. Wow, you really know your stuff. I know you started playing the game again recently. Oh yeah, because we weren't confident we could get there. There he is. Because we looked out on the bridge from his little area, and we weren't sure if we could make it there, so I had to look at my face to see if it was... if it was functioning properly. Not my face, if, if the camera. I rearranged my whole desk. I got new uh, monitor mounts that I like a lot better than the last ones I had. Which doesn't mean a lot to you, because you don't know which ones I got, and you don't know which ones I had. So, oh look, he's so happy. He's so happy. He's gonna get lots of his favorite food. Oh, his radiation's getting bigger. Dude, it's filling the whole cave now. Look at this. That's crazy. I'm gonna suck all these guys up so that they're not a danger to me while I get this key. Okay, that's fine. Bonk. There was another box that came out of him, wasn't there? Just one? Oh, there we go. Bunk. Okay. Enjoy your cave, guys. Now, we got one key. Let's go to where that hunter slime was, and we'll try to- we'll just take all the hens on the way there. Um, briar hens are gonna be his favorite, but at the end of the day, hens are hens! Uh, chickadoos are not hens. Chickadoos- oops, sorry. Chickadoos are chickadoos. Hens are hens. This works, so I don't need the chickadoos. Do I want a rooster? No, I want to pick up the briar hens. Roosters are rare, so it would be better to pick up all the hen types than get the roosters. And can we get there from here? Yeah, I think we can- Uh, I don't know if we can. Maybe best to teleport back home. We can pick up more hens from here, too. Oh, we can put this ornament in our chicken coop. There you go. There you go. Oh, there's so many hens. Okay, I don't, I don't need an elder rooster. Get out of here. Takes his tail feathers and no one cares. Oh, poor elder rooster. No one cares about him. You have 300 hours in Slime Ranch, you know where most things are. Well, you are incredibly valuable for this stream. Grab some of these briar heads. We'll leave, uh, we'll leave four of them with the three roosters. That'll be fine. Get 50 fruit so you can do Quantum Gorda. Oh, yeah! Okay. Oh, 50 fruit is a lot. Hopefully I have enough mint mangoes. There's gonna be 30 here. I don't think I have 20 down here, but we can turn them into quantum fruit. Our slimes are gonna be hungry. Yeah, we don't have enough mint mangoes. So... I think we have enough cuters. At least we should. Oh, there's tons of- we did have 50. These guys are bogarting them all. 
I wish there was like a setting for how many slimes you have in this thing. Okay, we'll try Q berries though. And you know, while we're in here, we might as well take some of the ports back. The honey ports tend to stack up if you have two with the honey combination, which we do. Um, so they're they're not the most valuable of the ones that we can sell from there, but they're the most uh, most of a. What's it called? A nuisance. I was gonna say a nuance, but I was like, that's not the word. Can't even talk. It's fine. It's Friday. I don't need to think. I actually did a lot of thinking for work trying to debug this one piece of code. Always that one piece of code. Anyways, we're, we're doing some reporting from Google, and I guess you they, they do reports, um, like their ad profiles and stuff. They do reports by the day. Oh, you almost, you almost ate that hen. I need that hen. I also need uh, more briar hens. They do they do reports by time frame. So you can do like give me all the days, uh, all the stats from the. Oop! I ran out of ran out of movement juice. We got a lot of hens now, still not enough. Actually, it is. Uh, we're four short. We're seven short. Now we're not. Oh, we got so many hens right now. Give me all them hens. Look at how many hens there are! Oh, sorry, Chickadoo. My bad. Just launch that chickadoo in the ocean, it's fine. Chickadoos can swim. Uh, to go into the ruins, you need a port from Tabby Honey Boom Phosphor Rad and Rock. Yeah, that's true. I'm a, I figured I'd go there and back a couple times. Yeah, I do, I do remember about that too. So, it's okay. Okay, let's grab us some briar hens if we can. Before they all get eaten. And I'm gonna grab some hunt. Oh, okay. There. Another. Get out of here, tabbies. You're gonna eat the briar hens. They're not even your favorite. Oh, they didn't blow up. Oh, now they. Okay. They were on a delay. Any hunter slimes around? Nah, I don't see any. Get out of here, Rustro. Oh, there's more mint mangoes. Oh, it's a whole totem! Hey, excuse me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wow, the water really doesn't behave like water. Okay, the music's calming. Oh, they're all scared. No, they're there. It's okay. It's okay. The tars are gone. Yeah, you're happy. You're happy. Oh no. Are there more Tars? Get out of here, Tars! Would you all stop eating the wrong ports, please? Okay. Slimes turn into Tars if they eat too many different kinds of ports, because they can only be double. So if they try to become a. Like that guy tried to become a pink tabby something else. Uh, I need to go the other way. Glad I checked. He tried to become a pink tabby honey, and that's just, that's not how it works. Oh, almost didn't make that jump. Okay. Here we go. These guys are all feral. Which means, unlike Pharrell, they are not happy. More tars? Why are there so many tars right now? There should only be two kinds of ports in here. Ow! Get out of here. Okay, I'm gonna stay here for a little bit. Quantum will give you a key and you can get quantum ports to go into Glass Desert. That's true. It's because this place is Tarland. I guess it's Tarland. 
rather hang out with Tarzan than Tarland. Okay, let's see. I need, um... Uh... Oh, come on! Okay. You can only go so high in elevation change with the booster, so... Okay, here we go. Um, we don't even need... Get out of here! Go! Go on! You were not invited to this party. Is he on the map now? Yeah, he is. You know what, let's finish him off with his favorite. Um... There were only two kinds here. There's only- oh, there were honey too. We're gonna just- we're gonna just put him in the ocean. When in doubt, ocean. Ocean. You guys are gonna become one with nature again. It's okay, don't worry about it, you're fine. You're fine. You came from mostly water, so you'll go back to mostly water. All things are how they should be. Up all night? Oh, we made it to 6 a.m. Whoops. Okay, back to this guy. Wow. What does he need, 60? I think he took 60. Okay, we got our two keys now. And I want these, um, these hunter slimes. We need four of them. We got four of them. No ornaments, though. I'm surprised there's no ornaments. Okay, we can take the stairs back, I believe. There's stairs around here somewhere. Something like that. I don't know. That was where we took the screenshot. Wow, look at how big the moon is. The moon's bigger than the sun. How does that work? I love it. Also, my music decided to get louder, or louder again. I don't appreciate that. The moon is closer than the sun. No, it's definitely the moon is bigger than the sun. <laughs> oh, that's convenient. No, no, I'm not dealing with more tars. I'm gonna sleep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my chores, and then I'm gonna sleep so the whole world gets reset. Um, we can put stony hands back. Okay, we're gonna do chores, and then we're gonna sleep, and then we're gonna do chores. How's that sound? Because we can put our hunters in the hunter box. Alright, you guys, go eat those honey plorts. Go eat those slam poops. So happy they're singing. Ow. Ow. Who's angry? Who you're angry. You're you're angry. You have food right in front of you. Stop being hangry. Notice the symptoms. Okay, that guy's done now. Those guys should still be okay, because we put a lot of mint mangoes in there. But let's harvest the mint mangoes and put them in the boxes. Now there's seven of each, so we should try to equalize the number of mint mangoes between them. The world doesn't get reset when you sleep, it just speeds up time. Yeah, I think after a certain amount of time passes, though, the world kind of resets itself. Something like that. I don't know the exact science behind it. Because like all the old slimes, like, fade away. And all the new slimes come out of the ground when you enter the area and they spawn in. How many were in the other one? 30? 33. Okay, that's pretty even. It's about as even as you can get with an odd number. Actually, it was exactly even somehow. I don't know how that works, but it works. Don't question me, it just works. Oh, we're gonna be so rich. And I need to turn this feeder to regular speed because there's seven of these guys now. There we go. Cool. We're out of here. Yep. We're good. We got some ports to sell. 
Boy, I'd be so tired if I was up all night. I haven't been sleeping very well recently. I don't know. You probably despawn if you don't pick them up. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That works for me. Are you guys all happy? No, you're out of food. Oh, you need food. I fed all your Oka Okas to the big rad slime over there in the, in the wilds. Oh, they're so hungry. Oh, 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 precious. Oh, precious. Come here. Everybody gets food. You didn't get any food. You didn't get any food. Okay, everybody gets food. Everybody's happy. It's not a requirement, but I hope everyone's happy. Are all you guys happy? Well, you got to have my parents over for dinner last night. It was really nice. And, uh... We started talking. My parents and Pink Ninja and me. And I? And I started talking. Yeah, my parents and Pink Ninja and I. And I have to be reminded that I'm happy. I'm, I'm very much an Eeyore. Pink Ninja said it, and then I was thinking about it. And I brought it back up and I was like, I kind of am an Eeyore. Like, my life is amazing. And I have to be reminded that there's a lot to be thankful for. Otherwise, my natural inclination is like, ugh, I'm, I'm terrible. Like, there's so many ways that I need to grow, which is true. Uh, there, there are a lot of ways that I need to grow. Okay, you guys are just barely out of food, so you should be okay. Wow, look how many cubeberries are on the ground. Full crop on the ground? Almost. Where's that last one? There it is. Full crops are uh, 15, so if you have... Full crops are 15, so if you have a double crop, it's 30. I don't think you can have more than a double crop, though. Oh, that guy is hungry. Come here. Come here. Oh, no. Oh. Come here, you. Oh, there you go. There you go. Anyone else hungry? I gotta take care of my slimes. Yeah, everyone else is good. Okay, they're all happy. They're happy. Everybody's doing okay. So, as a word of encouragement, if any of you out there are like I am, then uh, be happy. You got a lot to be thankful for. Sometimes you just gotta think about those things instead of all the ways that you need to grow. There you go. There you go, little guy. You're doing just fine. What's up, Nick? How you doing? You guys been able to rest a little bit since the great swatting of 22? <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good. How's your day been going so far? Actually, most of your day is over now. Alrighty. We have so much money. It's far in the evening? Yeah. It's that Europe time difference. That's a lot of money. Okay, let's sleep now so it resets things. I mean, not resets, but you guys know what I mean. Um, let's let's see what we can get. Oh, this is what I wanted to unlock. Okay, we'll do some slime toys. We got star mail about the toys probably. Uh, slime enrichment device is now on sale. Miss LeBeau, the 7Z Corporation, would like to congratulate you on obtaining the rank of Rolling Beetle 1. With this rank, you now have access to a revolutionary new technology for slime enrichment and preoccupation from activities that would otherwise hinder ranching. We call this new technology Slime Toys. Slime Toys can now be purchased from the shop. We have just installed on your ranch. Please excuse the excessive pauses in the last sentence, but our technician drones may have needed extra time for the installation, and we did not wish for our claim to be inaccurate. The 7Z Corporation giving robots time to do their job right one sentence at a time. You're gonna spoil something else that was a lot cooler? Oh no, wait, don't spoil anything. No spoilers. I mean, I've played the game, but don't spoil it for anybody that's viewing it for the first time. Okay. I want our tech to be Firecracker. Right? Yeah, because then we get the pink. I'm blue. We got the pink, and now we have like the, the red and white and stuff. Oh, it's so cool. Spoiler alert. No, no spoilers. Don't do it. And I kind of want my tech to be grape shot. Oh, that that's that's the wrong. 
Actually, we could see it in the background. It's cool, but it's not firecracker cool. I want my um, vac to be grape shot. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Okay, let's get some. Let's get some slime toys. What do we want? We want a big rock for the rock slimes. Reduces the agitation of nearby slimes, especially rocks. Who don't understand toys? It's a big rock. You guys, I got you a big rock. It's like you. All right, let's see what else we can get. A nightlight for the phosphor slimes? Yes? Oh, they're scared of the dark, but they can only live in the dark. Oh, you guys can have a nightlight. There you go. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, rad slimes like to live dangerously, and boom slimes think the bomb ball's funny. Okay, let's do a power cell for the rads. I guess I could do both. I could do one of each toy. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got a beach ball for the pink slimes. Rubber ducky, all for the puddle slimes. They're less shy with the rubber ducky. Oh, you guys. Oh, I got you a toy. They're so cute. You will not spoil anything in the 7Z rewards. Awesome. Honey slimes and Octo Buddy. Slimes dressed with a scuba fashion pod. Well, we don't have any of those. But we have um, honey slimes inside. There's nothing for the crystal slimes, so I'm glad that we combined them with honey slimes. There's probably more toys if we unlock them later on. There you go. One more for the other honeys, the honey hunters. The ball of yarn, I think, is for the tabbies. So we're gonna go double toys in the in the areas that can use them. So what's up, nerdy gamer gal? We unlock toys. We unlock slime toys for our slime friends, and they're so cute, and they get to play with the toys, and it makes them calm. They're like emotional support buddies for our slimes. I know. I know they're so cute. We also got more hunter slimes, and we popped a bunch of gordos and got keys. Other than that, we've just been doing chores. So, we're gonna get the toys for the slimes and then sleep the rest of today. So don't buy the fire slime toy. When the fire slime jumps at it, they have a chance to fall out and die. Okay, will do. Yeah, okay, let's get a yarn ball for the tabbies. Because they're phosphor tabbies, so they like the, the nightlight and the yarn. Let's get one for our pink slimes, the beach ball. Because they have a big rock for the rock part of them, but the pink part of them likes the beach ball. And... Um, bomb ball for our boom slimes, because we got the power cell for the rad ones. Oh boy, it looks like it's going to blow up. There you go, guys. Okay, now we're going to sleep, because we are out of money. And then in the morning, we're going to do the rest of our chores again. So... Okay, first things first, puddle plorts. Wow, it's like they're producing more plorts. Oh, I need some water too. Oh, they're so cute. Our chickens are all doing okay too. Okay, now we have a breathable amount of money. Go through these guys. It bugs me a little bit that these um, plots of land are plopped. I keep putting them in the wrong one. So I'm gonna switch them. Don't mind me, just gonna switch them. Okay, we'll do the food for these guys. Really fast growing tree. Food for these guys. These guys have to catch up on the food. Actually, a couple of them need to be fed. They're hungry. You're hungry. Okay, there's an extra one. I think, I think they're all looking good now. We'll grab the plorts for these guys. How are the plorts supposed to go in there with a big rock in the way? Oh, the plort sucker is very strong. How you doing, Nerdy Gamer Girl? Happy Friday. Hope you're looking forward to the weekend. I certainly am. I look forward to the next day almost every day. Because the next day is like a reset, you know? 
And I like the reset. It feels like a fresh start every new day. Also, this game is just kind of loud. Maybe I gotta... Let me turn it down a little bit. There we go. That looks like it's a little better. Okay, we got plorts to turn in, but we finished that area. There we go. Do I have puddle slimes yet? Yes! I have puddle slimes. I don't have the bouncy ball, but I got the rubber deck. Yes! I just unlocked the slime toys. Here, I'll show you my, um... I'll show you my puddle slimes with their, with their rubber ducky. They're all huddled around it. They're all playing with it. Oh, hello. Hello, little guy. He jumped off the thing. They're so cute. They're diving into the pond. They jump off of the ledge into the pond. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, man. They are too cute. This game is too cute. I love it so much. This is like my my version of Animal Crossing. Like, I don't play Animal Crossing, but I play Slime Rancher. You know? Oh no, he's hungry! Okay, I got you, little guy. I got you. There's a couple hungry ones. One. Two. Three. Oh, he wasn't hungry. But that's fine, we can leave him in there. Oh, we should do this now. Okay. There's more. But wait, there's more. If you call right now, we'll throw in a second slap chop absolutely free of charge. That's right, you heard it. Two slap chops for the price of one. Plus shipping and handling. But wait, there's more. If you call in the next minute and 30 seconds, we're gonna add not one, not two slap chops, but two slap chops with all the accessories. That's right, you get the slap guard and the cutting board, absolutely free of charge. I could sell slap chops. Someone's like, what did I miss? Why did he just go into a slap chop room? What just happened? It's all good. And you get the Grady. <laughs> oh man. I kind of miss old advertisements. They were so simple. Oh, there's too many. Oh, there's way too many. We're gonna have to take two trips out of here. Oh, the cheese thing, the cheese grady. Awesome. I never saw that. Mom had a slap chop and she loved it. I don't know if it was like a the slap chop branded one, but she had something where you like it's a spring loaded thing with the container on the end and you hit the thing and it chops the stuff. And if that's not a slap chop, I don't know what is. Uh, excuse me? Actually, you don't know what a slap chop is? Okay, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. That's fine. I don't need to know. Man, there's so many. See that slick move right there? I thought it was slick. That way I didn't drop any ports on the ground. We might have to do three trips. We do. We can just, we can leave some in here. That's fine. But my goodness, that's a lot of money. All right, let's get out of here and sell this stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. There's more fruits that grew while we were dealing with the inside slimes. We're gonna have so much to deal with if we uh, fill the other areas too. Yeah, old infomercials are way better than ads these days. There's just too much money involved now. It's at a certain point when you get too much money involved in production, it goes downhill. Because some of the best parts about infomercials are that people really care about their products, right? Like a lot of people would have small products and they would do their own infomercials and put it on and get to display their own products on the home shopping network. There was a movie about that with what's her face. And it was a great movie. And uh yeah, and, and so you, like, get people that are passionate about products telling you about how great their products are. Nowadays, it's like a big company puts out a product, 
that like the people working on the product development aren't necessarily passionate about it. They just have to develop a product and the company's going to own it. So they're not even like putting in all their effort into it. They might be, but they'd put in more if it was their own product because they'd have to care about the result, you know? And then you get another department that's like, well, we can cut costs here by making these parts out of plastic. And then you get another department that says, well, we can cut costs over here. And then you get another department that's involved with testing, but they missed something because the first department that created the thing had a different intent for a particular function, and then it goes back and forth, and now it's not the product that meets the original need. And it's just, it's just crazy. It's crazy. And then you get another department that's in charge of advertising. And none of these people really care about the product. As in, they don't they don't care so much that they would put everything on the line for the sake of the product, so... Yeah, ads don't even explain the product anymore. And for that matter, most of the things that people are selling are not products anyways, they're like services. Like, Apple, I think, revolutionized the ad industry in a way that I think we shouldn't have gone down, right? Because Apple didn't sell iPhones. They sold the lifestyle of an iPhone. That's why they could charge double. All right, that was my bad. That's why they could charge double for an iPhone that any other company did, right? Samsung sells the lifestyle because they're active and mobile. And if you get a Samsung, you want your life to be integrated and on the move. And people think, yeah, my life is active and on the move and I want it to be integrated and synergistic. And so then they buy a Samsung. Apple is like, you want your life to be simple and elegant. And people are like, I do want to be simple and elegant. That sounds amazing. And then they buy an iPhone. Realistically, if they did a feature demonstration, that no one would buy it, right? That's why nobody buys stuff like Oppo. Because <laughs> that's an amazing brand. But no one knows about it because they don't advertise for the, the lifestyle of it. So, okay, we've done all the port stuff. Now, do we keep upgrading the 7Z stuff? How much time do we have? We have 20 minutes. 20 minutes isn't really enough to unlock the, the next area. So let's do... Let's grab... Oh man, I need one of these slimes. Okay. Let's do a thing. Let's do a thing. Let's grab a Phosphor Slime, a Tabby Slime, a Boom Slime. I think we need a, a, a Boom Floor and a Rat Floor. And then let's go to where we can unlock the next area. Today is just going to be the maintenance stream, you know? We needed some keys, we needed some money, we needed some slime toys. The slime toys were cool. That'll probably make it into the title. I need to figure out how to do a screenshot for that, though. I should have put all the toys around me in a big pile and taken a screenshot, but I didn't. So now what are we going to do? Now we got nothing. Okay, what's the best way to go? I think probably just across the bridge to the right. Because there's a door on either side of here. Um, oh, we could have used this teleporter. Okay, uh, this is definitely the way to go then. Because we can use this teleporter to get pretty much right to the entrance. So anyways, all that to say with advertising, I'm tired of... I'm tired of being advertised to for the lifestyle of something. I really just want to know about the product. I know what my lifestyle is. I know what my use case is. So if you just tell me about your product um, in a way that I know you didn't spend $14 billion on advertising, and that does absolutely increase the price of the product. That's the trouble. Dad and I were just talking. My dad's a contractor, but he, he is a general contractor, so he does a lot of stuff. Um, I think it's this way. He does a lot of stuff like plumbing and electrical. He's retired now, but you know, he did. And so he, he was telling me about all these like plumbers that you see on TV, right? Like Mike Diamond, the smell good plumber. The reason they spend so much money on advertising is because they're not really that good and they're going to charge you a lot of money. And so they don't get a lot of repeat customers. So they need to advertise heavily to get the new customers. Oh, this is relaxing. I like this a lot. Oh, we need a pink. Oh, pink plort's already in there. This is the honey plort. So you can see we need all these different kinds of plorts around the edges. Um, to unlock this big door. Maybe I'll just take a screenshot of this one. 
It's the infinity door. Wait, I can't even see the whole thing. Can I get up here? Oh, I'm maxed out right here. I can get onto this pillar, and then I can jump from here up to there. I think. Um, Mike Diamond, the Smell Good Plumber. Anyways, we have a, a family friend that hired them, and they charged them like twice the amount of money that they should have, so it was kind of a ripoff. And then also, on top of that... Oh, ooh, a treasure pod. They didn't do a very good job. You know? So... Alright, here we go. That's a screenshot if I've ever seen it. Let me just... We need the whole gate in there. Okay, so... Print screen. Beautiful. Get our HUD back. Resume. Okay. So... The, the reason they charge twice as much probably isn't because they're greedy, but it's probably because they're kind of a an industrialized version or a corporate version of plumbing. And they they need to spend all that extra money on advertisements and stuff. There's our phosphor buddy. <laughs> oh, they're half steps. Okay, oh, my bad. Don't I look silly? We're only missing two then, so what do we need? We need the top one, let's see, that one is probably the honey plort, which means the top one is a puddle? Or maybe, I think the only one we're missing is the honey, oh no, wait, okay, a rock plort for the top one and a honey plort, honey and rock, yeah. Instead of being like, hey, this is what our product does and this is how you use it. Now it's like, buy this because we made a 15 second ad that shows the product from different angles. <laughs> That's so true. Here's the product from different angles for 15 seconds. And here's a diverse amount of people, a, a diverse group of people using the product and loving it. That's, that's what we're at now. Is this, oh, the way back was this ramp over here. Okay. I think? Question mark? H said he made a way back. Oh, it's up there. Okay. I'll fly. I need to recharge. Boom. Good thing gravity is a lot less on this planet. Oh, they hurt me from a long ways away. Hurt me real deep. Nah, not really. There's only 10 HP. <laughs> what was I talking about? Plumbers. Oh, yeah. So, I'd... I'd personally rather find a plumber that's like a small business or something. Okay, we were going to do more 7Z rewards. Now we can probably purchase two. It's usually colors then something else. There we go, advanced slime toys. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and a market link. What colors did we get? Matatron? Oh, that's pretty. What if I turn our house Matatron? Oh, it's like dark and pink. I like that. Okay, we'll do that. Rob Ranger for the house. Okay, Matatron for the house. There's- is that teal? It's about as close to teal as we're gonna get. Purple house. Beautiful. Okay, let's sleep. Till morning. How am I doing on time? I've got 10 minutes left. So we can- we can open that third gate. We won't explore the whole area, but we need a rock plort. Oh, it's chore time again. I can't wait to unlock the bees. I'm gonna have to off-screen grind a little bit for the bees. Because they take a lot of, uh, a lot of materials to craft. 
and you need to mine for them all over the place. So that's, it's a little annoying, actually. Oh. Cores again? Uh, oh, I forgot the long. Uh oh. Oh, they're so cute! The little noises they make are so cute! Ugh, oh, I can't take it. I can't take the cuteness. Wow, the first the first set of uh ports is so cheap now. There's only six gold per Okay, we'll deal with our boom rads, our rad booms, our rabooms, our our booads. Uh, there's boomeration, boom boom deation. I got nothing on that. My cleverness is gone. I, I ran out of cleverness yesterday. Usually better to get stuff from small businesses because they have higher quality and lower prices so they can compete with big corporations. Yeah, I feel like the, the tough part about buying from small business, because I also like to do family owned and small business and that kind of thing, you usually have to pay more. You usually have to pay more money because they don't mass produce the product, so they can't make them at a scale like the big corporations can. Um, but usually the service you get is so much better and it's worth it. You know, like a big corporation, you, you have a product and you're one day past the uh, the warranty, and they're like, oh, sorry, bud, you're one day past the warranty, nothing I can do. But you go to a family owned shop and you're like, hey, I bought this and like, the warranty expired, it was a 60 day warranty, but like something's wrong with it and they're like, oh, let me take a look, or let me fix it. Or, not, not every family business, but a lot of them because they keep people around and coming back because they're nice to people and they know people and like, I love that. So, if I have the opportunity to do so, I like to order from family owned businesses and that kind of thing. Okay, we need to have at least one honey plort. Honey and rock. 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 These crystal ones are spiky. They're real spiky. See how many I have. Don't want to overdo it. There needs to be a mod for infinite backspace. <laughs> like you can just suck up anything and it puts it into a bag of holding. Or a subspace dimensional rift or something like that. Okay. All the ports are getting pretty cheap now. So We'll deposit all but one of these. We'll go grab a rock port. And then we'll crack that door open and then we'll leave it there. And you guys are going to have to wonder for a whole weekend what's past the big door in the end. Oh, wow. We got a lot of upgrades. Okay. Since when did we get this gate? Can we close it? No, it just, it, it doesn't close. That's fine. It would be cool if you could close it to keep slimes out, potentially, if you had more of a free-range kind of farm. Where you had things like... You, you used up every single thing available um, for plants and or slimes. And then you... Uh, I forgot to take the teleporter. Would have been so much faster. And then you have some that are free-range outside the cages. And they can't get to inside the cages. So you have essentially like one extra spot for slimes so apart from let's see all the plorts are like thirty dollars or less apart from gold and modded slime plorts mm. so how do you mod this is it like a nexus gamer mod or something because or is it like steam workshop because i have epic games slime rancher
I'm hoping I can get some mods going. I'll write my own mods. Here's the honey plort. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I said it too soon. Here we go. We did it. We did it. The infinity door is complete. Oh, look at it. It's so cool. Oh, I love all the slime songs. They're so cool. Boom, end of stream. You guys don't get to see inside. All right. Well, we don't have time to go explore that one, so I'm going to head back to the ranch. You're so glad you heard that. I know, it's so cute. We'll head back to the ranch, and next stream we're going to be exploring it. Your ears have been blessed. Hashtag blessed. Anytime I see hashtag blessed, ironically or non-ironically, I think of Preacher Lawson. He was on America's Got Talent as a comedian, but he ironically was like, hashtag blessed. Oh, I almost jumped into the ocean, which would be fine, I think. It would just take us back to the ranch without our water, but we have a pond, so it's all good. This is the kind of cuteness that makes you want to cry, oh no. Guys, we're gonna make Pink Ninja cry, but you know, because of cuteness. So I guess it's tears of joy. It's like that girl in oh, I saw it in either Markiplier or Jacksepticeye's "Try Not to Smile" challenge. Um, and it was this girl that gets a puppy, and she's like crying, like oh, it was the most adorable video I've ever seen. She's like. It's so cute, I wanna die! Too much joy, I know, I know. We didn't do a personal mission today. Let's see if we can do it real quick. Uh, oh, Mochi! Alright, what's up, Mochi? Let's make a trade, Lemonade! Oh, a Quantum Plort. Well, we don't have any Quantum Plorts, because we didn't explore the new zone. But we can leave that for tomorrow. That does it for today's episode of Slime Rancher. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you're on YouTube, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's one or two clicks for you, or three. And it really does help me out a ton. And as always, hope you have a great rest of your day or weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one.